In this lesson, we're going to learn how to graph in two-dimensional space. And so what we're going to do is take a point and show its location in what we call the coordinate plane or the Cartesian plane. And so um, if you're given what we call an ordered pair, which is just a set of two numbers, and by convention we put them in parentheses, um, but an ordered pair, a comma b, this right here is going to be enough information for us to locate any point in two dimensions. All right. Now, uh, a couple of things about the coordinate plane or the Cartesian plane that we graph on. It's basically two number lines, um, one lying horizontally like you're used to, but then one lying vertically. The horizontal number line we refer to as the x-axis, and the vertical number line we refer to as the y-axis. Okay, um, and so this uh, first number that we're given is the x-coordinate. And the second number is always going to be the y coordinate. And the way we use these ordered pairs is that we start off at the intersection of these two number lines. Now the intersection we have we give a name to. The intersection is the origin. Or we also call it the point zero zero. And so here's the idea. To locate a point A comma B, what we do is we start at the origin and we go over a distance of A along the x-axis and then from there we go straight up a distance of B in the y direction. And that will be the location of the point A comma B. So we're going to do an example where we plot lots of points and get used to this. Um, but one last note about the coordinate plane, um, there are these Roman numerals you see here, and we won't do too much with it, with these in this class, but just be aware that the, the quadrant um, in the upper right is called quadrant one, the upper left is quadrant two, the lower left is quadrant three, and the lower right is quadrant four. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, that you'll again encounter uh, later on in your mathematic, uh, mathematics career. All right, well, let's do this example here. We have a lot of ordered pairs we're asked to graph, and so we're just going to graph all of them. So we're going to start with 4, 2. So we go to the origin here, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 along the x-axis from the origin, and up 2 in the y direction. So there's the point 4, 2. Negative 1, negative 3. So negative means I go left 1 from the origin, and negative 3 means I go down 3 from there in the y direction. The point 2, negative 2, I'm going to go 1, 2 in the x, and then down 2 in the y, putting us right there. And then negative 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5 in the x, positive 1 in the y, puts me there. And then we have 0, comma 3. So 0 for the x coordinate means I stay put. I don't go left or right. I just stay right here. But then the fact that I have a 3 in the y means I go 1, 2, 3 up the y axis. And then I have 3, 0. That means I go 1, 2, 3 in the x, and I go nowhere in the y. I just stay right there on the x-axis. 0, negative 4. Again, I don't move in either x direction. I stay right here. But I go down 4 in the y direction. And then finally, negative 2.5, comma 0. I'll go back 1, 2, and a half, right, negative 2.5, and then zero in the y direction. So that just puts me right there. All right, so hopefully you have 
a pretty good idea of how you are supposed to graph points. Remember, the first number always corresponds to the x value. The second number always corresponds to the y value of the point.